Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again, men and women. Welcome once again to another episode here on Life Signatures Radio. It's a daily show. In this show, we normally talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience, and we talk about topics around those three main pillars. In doing this, we normally deploy series, and we've just come off of a very strong series where we're talking about six reasons as to why COVIDX is mark in the middle of purpose pursuit. And today, we start a new series. We have the privilege of starting a new series, and we're gonna be talking. We're gonna be talking about detachment. It's a very, very critical topic. Detachment. You want to know what detachment is? This word detachment came to me years ago, I think a decade ago, before I could even do any research about it. There was something I was writing about detachment. Either I just knew about it and I even explained this on social media to someone. They asked me, what, what in the world is that? And I was in the frame of mind to have pieced it together, to have explained it to them. And I wish I could recommend, I mean, I wish I could go back to those words and I can just re, re, re-download those words exactly how they were. Anyway, we're going to be talking about detachment going forward. And uh, the main topic here we're going to discuss is why detachment is a powerful psychological tool for productivity. You want to stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Some decades back, I walked out of my job, daytime job, after getting tired, tired, extremely tired, tired for it, tired of it, <laughs> English. See, the thing is that I had stayed in that job even after I had known that I had outgrown it. I had stayed there because I was afraid that getting out of there will render me jobless and I will not have any options and so on. So I continued going there and earning paltry income. Now, the most amazing thing about this job is that I was a consultant of sorts, like a tutor, computer tutor, teaching people how to double-click with the mouse and, and, and so on and so forth. Now, the most bizarre thing about this job is that they decided to put me on commission. Now, get this, my job started as early as 7 a.m., 7 a.m., and I will not be through until 8 p.m. in the evening. How in the world was I supposed to do sales so that I can get commission? In other words, we depended mostly on the walk-ins and also the recommendations that we can get from the students that we had in there. Anyway, they put flat out commission and I I tell ya I flunked my friends <laughs> I know my colleagues were making money and so on and, and so forth for some reason they were just making money but I wasn't I was tired of that place it was not paying me well it was embarrassing and I walked out of it And when I walked out of it, I really did suffer. Did suffer a lot. Because I didn't have food. I didn't have rent. I suffered and the thing that I was afraid of was already happening to me. I was afraid of for very many years, maybe five or so years, I was afraid of 
being jobless, being without options, being without food, being embarrassed by not having rent. That was already happening. I was smack in the middle of it. And then something I remember even up to today as if it was yesterday. I remember given an opportunity to go to do an interview. Before that, before I would attend interviews, I would be so much immersed and attached to the outcome of the interview that I would go out of the way to try and please the interviewers and the interviewing panel. Even though I knew that I was good, even though I knew that I was intelligent, and I knew that the positions that I was applying for, I I would be able to work, even though I knew those things were in place. I read about how to in, how to ace an interview. I, I got to, to learn that you need to smile. You need to shake the hands of the interviewers. You need to ask questions. I, I mean, you just need to... Very many things. And therefore, I would... I mean, you will see me attending an interview. I will be like a robot. You know what I'm saying? Because I was so much attached... To the outcome of the in, in the interview, I was like, "This is it. This this must happen. I must get this job." Very many times, I didn't get the job until such a time that I just got tired, and I became carefree. That is a place of liberality. That is a place of freedom. That is. I don't know how to describe it. It's being carefree. It's a place of absolute total freedom in that you become someone who is authentic. You are yourself. So it got to a place where I was given an opportunity to attend an interview. I was recommended there by a mentor to attend an interview. And I went to this organization. I know I'd been recommended there and so on. But I went to this organization. And as this interview was going on, The one thing that I was so confident about was that I am not attached to the outcome of this interview. If it happened that I got the job, fine. If it happened that I didn't get the job, fine. I'm okay with the whatever outcome it was. Therefore, I was so carefree in that particular interview that even when I knew no answer to a question, I would say, I don't know that. I don't know it. And I wasn't like embarrassed not to know it. And I was okay. I mean, it's, it's life. I know I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I aced that interview. I came out so well, even though whatever it is that they were looking for, they were looking for person, a person with a degree, which I didn't have in the, even up to today. Maybe I should work on that. But I was so carefree and I got the job. And I'm here to tell you that I aced not just the interview, but I aced the job as well. And I learned something in the process. That's why we're going to be discussing in these episodes. I learned something in the process that when we get so much attached to a result, let's just use an example of football. Let's say your team is Arsenal and Arsenal are playing an opposing team, for example. And you are so attached to the results, especially when you're watching. You're so attached to the results. And in your house, your wife is there. She doesn't care about us. She's not attached to to the results. She's having a blast. She's carefree. But you, as a nervous wreck, you don't know how the results are going to go. And even, let's just use you as an example. Probably you forgot that there is a match today and therefore your team is playing and there are moments they are being squeezed and so on but you don't care because you don't know the game is going on you are quote unquote detached and therefore you are in a mental state that is healthy see attachment sometimes and I'm going to differentiate these things attachment sometimes gives us a mental state that is not creative a mental state that is not conducive for creativity a mental state that is basically we are like a nervous wreck 
And therefore, in the episodes that are coming up, we're going to be talking about detachment and why it is is a big psychological boost for you to be detached even as you're seeking to be productive. I'm going to bring these things together. Just stay tuned. I'm going to bring them together. Why detachment is a psychological powerhouse that is going to help you to become productive in your pursuit of purpose and in your deployment of purpose. We're going to learn all those things in the episodes that are coming up in this series. But for now, that's it. That's the introduction. Stay tuned and bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.